We're live. Welcome to Mountain Monday Morning right here on Mountain Fun Life Channel and Radio. And hey, we got a big lineup and we got to get ready to go. Ain't that right, Mountain That's Man? That's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we got to get to it. So let's see what we need to get you all to do now. We need you to text, tweet, do all that stuff that's sweet. Get the word out that Mountain Monday Morning is coming on live right at you. So get those texting, tweets, and phone calls, and yelling, screaming, all that done. Let everybody know to tune in and catch the program. We'll be right back. Welcome to Mountain Monday Morning. It is Monday morning, and we oh we got a plate full this morning, so we're going to have to jump right in and get. I tell you what, let's do. Let's put Bob to work out there. What do you say? Let, let's cool. get yeah. Let's get him working this morning. Hey, we had a really great Mountain Music Hour Friday evening. And uh, we hope that you all uh, you can still catch the program if you missed it. And uh, go back and look at uh, uh, the program and listen to the music of Jesse Ball and what was he call it? Called it the Last Minute Band. The last minute and I mean, band. it, it might have been the Last Minute, but it was right up front on the music because that was one of the finest picking and singing times that we have had in a good little while, and we just thoroughly enjoyed. Jesse Ball and the Last Minute Band. So thank you, young men. Thank you very much. It was a lot of fun, and we got to get them back someday. I, I'll tell you what, uh, people need to hear a little bit of that. Mm-hmm. Bob, you got something lined up? Let's put these boys to work again. downtown Sevierville by our very own Robert Owen a Mountain Man of Mountain Monday Mornings. I'm super excited because these guys are very, very talented. In case you don't know, they make these cool gourd tars. We're going to talk a little bit about that. But in addition to that, they're donating some of these incredible instruments to the Appalachian Field Festival to benefit Mountain Hope. Coming up Saturday, October the 6th in Emmert's Cove. They're gourds. They are gourds. <laughs> They're made out of gourds. <laughs> it's about a, a year's process to, uh, we just harvested some actually, and uh, we plant the seeds during uh, spring of the year, and then uh, we let them grow, and they get uh, whatever size they're going to get, and whatever shape they're going to get. As you can see, there are different shapes and sizes. We cut out uh, the section we want to use for an instrument, then we put strings on them, tune them up, 
start playing them. All right. Handmade, so, homegrown, mountain made answer me. Perfect for our Appalachian Field Festival. So I'm perfect excited to it. say that and these little guys are valued at over what? $125, something along that line? So with the time that we have involved in everything, that is an actual reasonable price for these. Um, so they've donated a few of these guys to auction off uh, at the Field Festival on Saturday. They'll be in the silent auction, so you need to make sure you stop by the barn at Jim Ogles, take a look, pick them up, uh, play a tune, and can make a bid. Uh, all the money from that goes to Mountain Hope Good Shepherd Clinic. You guys have been big, big supporters of the clinic. I'm grateful for that. Uh, my wife and I did participate in the very first uh, one benefit that you all had and we've been trying to do this ever since because we believe in what you're doing. So let me say a quick word about Mountain Hope. Uh, we take care of folks who live or work in this county who have no medical insurance. So at about 94,000 folks here in Sevier County, um, we have over 24,000 patients of record. Um, that's about a quarter of the population that we see for medical or dental. Uh, and fundraisers like this mean that we can see more people. So I'm grateful to you guys for what you've done. Thank you. I, I think I might need to get out of the way and let y'all play a tune. Okay. <laughs> <Red Man Roberts. laughs> or you can just stand there Red and be can stand there. Give me some rhythm there, Mountain Man. <laughs> all right, so again, I'm so appreciative of you guys. Thank y'all for joining us. Uh, we hope to see you out next Saturday, October the 6th, in Emirates Cove for the Mountain Hope Good Shepherd Clinic Appalachian Field Festival. Thank you. Okay, that was some uh, picking and singing. By the way, I'm your host, Robert Olby, Mountain Monday Morning, with uh, the Mountain Man, a.k.a. Wayne McCarter, here this morning. And we are having us a good time. Man, alive, we've got so much going on here, we got to get right to it. Uh, you you heard a little bit more of uh, Jesse Ball. He's my great nephew, Jesse Ball, and the Last Minute Band, as he called them. I don't care what minute they were; they were good. Yeah, and of course, you uh, you saw the Gord Tar uh, the Gord Tar clip there with uh, with our good friend and uh, partner here at Mountain Fun Life Creative Christian Network, Ashley. And Ashley is going to be involved in a field festival, and uh, she's going to be. Uh, we, we gave her let her take some of these gourd tars here. Now these are homegrown, homemade. And this is, uh, the, the benefit is for Mountain Hope Clinic. Very good, uh, a very good cause. And we donated these, uh, some gourd tars like this one to be used uh, for, uh, now these, these should be priced at something like a hundred hundred twenty five dollars a lot of work goes into these and growing them they're not that hard to make but a lot of time is involved and it's tedious to put these things together and they really sound good they've got that kind of a melodic haunting mountain dulcimer type sound to them of course each one's got a little bit different sound than the other mm -hmm. and my wife and i have been participating in the uh, fundraisers uh, for Mountain Hope from the very first one. We had some CDs, a uh, cassette, or whatever, whatever we were using at that time that we just uh, donated. To, uh, they they help a lot of people. Even even uh, my wife has uh, utilized their facility down there for health issues and, and help. And they, they are just such gracious people to do what they're doing. And so don't forget that... Uh, Ashley, this Phil Festival, Ashley is going to be, of course, covering it. And these gourd tars will be available for donation. And now remember, make your donation generous. Uh, I'm sure that they will, uh, they may be going to auction these off. And, and make sure that you remember a lot of time goes into these. And you've got into carving these things out now, too. You kind of made that your personal hobby, haven't you? Yep. Mm -hmm. To uh, I like to do it. Okay, well, it, it's uh, yeah, it, it's it's really good, and uh, we just uh, uh, we appreciate Ashley puts forth a lot of effort in helping to keep 
that going just like she does to help keep us going, keep us straight. She uh, she ain't, she has a problem with you, though, I think. We all kind of have to watch after you there. Okay, we're going to talk about some other things here. We've got a lot of things lined up. Bob's going to be busy this morning. Bob Denny, our director and owner out here, he's going to be uh, giving you some more clips here. We've got new shows coming up. We've got uh, Abundant Life presents and i believe we have a clip of that we're going to go to right now <coughs> i gotta pull it in okay <coughs> I'm sweet smelling stuff I put on about joke. <laughs> if I can got crazy with it. But I smell good. <laughs> <laughs> And that's just some other things we've got going on here. And uh, Abundant Life, of course, that's where I pit, do a little picking and singing and, and try to help out. And we just have a really good time Brother in the Martin, spirit. Brother Roe. Yeah, Steve. We can't do nothing with Steve either. He's mm-hmm. he's another character. But anyway, uh, we got we got all kinds of stuff going on. We got fall crafts going on, and uh, we need to talk a little bit. We got the new deck out back, and uh, we have. Uh, uh, we're, we're, I think we're going to be expanding a little bit more. You talk about growing. We're already having to expand the deck. <laughs> expand the deck. Uh, but anyway, we we got to we got to paint that booger out too. You know, we got to get a fresh coat of paint. And you know who's you know who's going to be helping with that? <coughs> Barrel Calhoun Paints. We're and going we to get need, them. We need you to get on there and comment on the color. Comment on the color. Yeah, why, man, we've, we've had some suggestions of what? Light gray, gray dark gray, but look, look, at, look at all the colors here that we've got. I mean, I mean, this is just all kinds of, all kinds of different shades of gray. We've got the charcoal and, uh, oh, I don't know. Just remember loads of it. Just remember we're gonna cook out there and don't get too crazy with no pink or nothing. Uh, yeah. What no, we don't we we gotta have something we're, kinda we're match kinda the match cooking match atmosphere. <laughs> but barrel calhoun paints. And so I think we we're gonna go to uh, a video on that now. Okay, we're here. Hey, it's Mountain Monday morning and we're here on the outside with the uh, New deck right here behind us. Still got a little work to do on it. Uh, needs a paint job. To, and speaking of paint job, needs a paint job, don't it, Mountain Man? Mm-hmm. This Mountain Man, 
I'm your host, Robert Ombi, and we've got uh, Mr. Greg Rothberg here from uh, Barrel Calhoun Paints. I guess that's the way you'd say that, right? Yes, sir. Barrel Calhoun. Now, how long have you all been in town? Uh, we've been locally in town for th coming up on uh, three years now. Three years since, uh, and it's been in business since 1905. Yep. And you're on Wires Valley Road, 335 Wires Valley Road, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, 37863. And uh, phone number 428-2724. And West Main Street, 326 West Main, Sugarville, Tennessee, 37862. Phone 366-3183. Now, I went to your all's pages, websites, and everything, checking you out, you know. And by the way, you the, just shake hands. I want to welcome you. Because, thank you. Uh, what I found is very interesting. You listed with the Chamber of Commerce, and uh, all the reviews on there, but top, top review. Not one negative review did I find. Well, thank you. And I also discovered that uh, the company supplied, uh, did the painting supplies for Smoky Stadium. Yep. Okay. And. Uh, I, I'm telling you, this is just really impressive. So why don't you, uh, maybe if I'm missing something, I tried to cover all the bases, but if I didn't cover a base, we did really around. well. Uh, we do a lot of things in the community where, uh, when the fires broke out, unfortunately, we donated five houses of paint for the um, fire victims. Um, we donated all the paint for creative theater on the outside. The entire yeah. paint job on the outside, we donated all the paint. We donated all the paint for the inside of the board of realtors to repaint the inside. So we really believe in community, really believe in uh, local. Um, all of the people that we deal with are local and family. We're family owned and operated, 112 years old. So I think that adds about to what you got. Okay. I didn't even know you did research on me. Now I'm kind of scared. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Don't be because it was very impressive. And by the way, I think we need to do a little, uh, to get some brushes, rollers. We need to do a little work right here on, on our outside deck and, and get this kind of decorated. Hey. We're going to paint the town, and if you want to paint the town, I would highly recommend Farrell Calhoun Paints. And uh, go to these locations, get in touch with them, and uh, whatever you need. I'm sure you got brushes and all the yeah. all the accessories that are needed. Too. Sure do. So, and and not only paints, do you have you have coatings? Yes. Uh, we have from the. I always like to say from the ground over the roof. We've got a, from the ground over the roof. Yeah. I also found that on the sides too. I, <laughs> I checked you out. Uh -oh. <laughs> and that's the reason that I would highly recommend. Uh, from what I saw, not one negative response. All top rated. Not one negative. So remember, Barrel Calhoun. That's the place to paint the town. Goodbye, folks. Boy, is this ever a busy place here this morning. We got so much going on. And what was that comment you made about well, Bob? We're working Bob like a barred mule here. Yeah. And and put up wet. Put up and just wet. put up yeah. wet. I'm telling you, it's we got we got so much going on. Fall of the year, October, the colors are changing and the color in our face is probably changing, trying to keep track of everything that's going on. You're turning red already, of course. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make any difference. People can't see it anyway. You got it co pretty well covered up there. Anyway, we hey we got uh, we got the premiere of the Silver Dollar Fish family feature film, family movie coming up. This is gonna be this coming Saturday, Saturday the sixth at 1 p.m. that will will be at Hall's Cinema. Now, if I understand, this is free. There's no charge. Now, what you need to do is to call Hall's Cinema and make your seating reservation. And uh, if you've been waiting for this film, now is your opportunity to go see it and be sure and call. It's absolutely free. But you do have to reserve your seating. I got mine reserved. We got to call and get you one reserved. You mm -hmm. decided you're going to go to it because you had mm -hmm. some participation. Your bass is on there, on, on some of the soundtracks on it. So 
we want to get that, and you need to get that done because we ain't, we're we running out of time, and we're running out of time with this program, too. So <laughs> let's get right into the official trailer of the Silver Dollar Fish film. For Jesse, endless days of hard work was his way of proving that he was a provider. I remember the day, a day committed to like family this. with love and faith. That special time, Look, my daddy, daddy, let's go fishing. <laughs> you got one. What is it? You know, I heard they are catching some nice ones down to Cooper's Creek. Y'all gonna stand there or are we gonna go fishing? Where's mommy? But sometimes our faith is challenged and we question if we're a provider after all. You have to do the best you can. I received another phone call from that creditor. I don't think he wants his money. He wants his farm. Open the door for me. When we realize that being a provider requires something that money can't buy. But you I'm not a provider! I'm a worthless crippled! That's what I am! The family must stand together. He's gonna to be alright. But you, you have got to keep it together. Back off! You don't want to shoot me, Mrs. Nelson. Featuring Rodney Wiseman, Cammy Jenkins, Blake Jenkins, and with a special appearance by Silk Kozar, Silver Dollar Fish. A family what I was thing. looking for all along was right here in front of me. Wow. Son, you have caught Silver Dollar Fish. Silver Dollar Fish, directed by Bob Denny. That special time, my daddy. Well, I'll tell you, Mountain Monday morning. It's getting to be a rather busy place. Are you beginning to get that buzz feel like in a beehive that you got so much going on? And speaking of the uh, Silver Dollar Fish movie uh, at Hall Cinema, Elizabeth is going to be there doing red carpet treatment. Uh, she, Elizabeth, is going to be there interviewing the actors and people involved in uh, Silver Dollar Fish family feature film. So don't miss it. So let's move right along now. We, I'm telling you, we're covered up this morning. We got, we got uh, uh, now Friday, we have uh, Ripley's uh, Fright Night. I think Elizabeth is covering that also. Mm -hmm. uh, Elizabeth is getting very busy here. She's going to be doing, uh, she's going to be doing weather on Mountain Fun Life. She's going to be doing a weather report. That'll be good because uh, everybody is interested in the weather. And when you're following any network, you kind of expect to get briefed on the weather. Well, let me tell you, Mountain Fun Life is going to have you covered. Elizabeth's going to have you covered on that weather report coming to you from Mountain Fun Life Channel. So uh, looking forward to see what she'll be good at that. She will be good at that. Not only that, uh, we got... Uh, Friday, Michael Keating is going to have health and wellness show starting up. We've got a bunch of new shows starting up. We also have Jana Jennings' show Saturday, beginning Saturday, October the 13th. And I think we're going to go to another film and give you a little bit about this.
mountain man's acting up this morning. Now he's got this idea of putting the ladies' mountain fun life in the uh, straw, uh, mountaineer straw hats. Is that your suggestion? Mm -hmm. You want them all to put on. Uh, you'll be shocked if they come in here yeah, wearing to those, won't you? Coffee cup because it hits. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> don't want to lose. Yeah, don't want to lose the coffee. But uh, oh, we do need to mention now. We're, we hey, listen, we're only highlighting and covering some of the new shows. We got so much going on here this morning. As you can see, I'm 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 making my list and checking it twice because we got so much going on. We wanted to try to get through. Uh, to you folks who are following Mountain Fun Life, Creative Christian Network involved, uh, we are sister station. We got Life in the Smokies with Laura. We don't want to forget Laura. We don't want to forget Laura, and we got uh, Matt uh, Cordell, who's going to be doing covering entertainment, entertainment in the Smokies. So now that ought to be interesting, mm -hmm. since we both enjoy picking and singing and entertainment, mm -hmm. knowing what's going on around town. I guarantee you, Matt's going to have it covered. He likes so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> who? Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you heard that, Matt. We know who you like now. But anyway, this is. Uh, well, th there's just so much. Listen, you do not want to miss this fall and right on through goodness knows what what we're going to come up around the holidays right on mm -hmm. through december and january and looking out on toward the new year i don't oh it gives me a headache to think that far ahead i've, I've got enough right here to deal with just this morning so uh <laughs> i'll tell you what let's do let's go to sponsorship right now we got uh we're having to just about practice to be auctioneers here this morning with all that we got to come off this list we're about done though we're making we're making our way through it let's go to uh sponsorship we've got forge fit you know who that is the boss the, <laughs> the boss lady mm -hmm. yeah the boss lady mm -hmm. and so let's go to some information now about forge fit which is right next door Becoming Forge Fit. I am Forge Fit. I am Forge Fit. I am Forge Fit. I'm Forge Fit. We are Forge Fit! What was that you were saying about Bob knowing something about oh, who butters know, his what? bread? Mm -hmm. Which side of his bread is buttered and who butters it, huh? Ain't nothing any better than good buttered mm -hmm. bread, though. Mm -hmm. So, uh, And we know who the boss is around here, too, don't we? We know who to obey. She might count his carbs like my wife. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, I'm not going to go there. Mm -hmm. Anyway, hey. Would you like to look? Look at this. Look at this. You didn't work. No, I didn't work mine. How dare you come in here out of uniform? Mm -hmm. look, yeah, look at this. Look at this. Would you like to win one of these Mountain Fun Life? It's got radio, TV on it because we're doing both. And uh, if you would like to win this, go down to the comment section on your on Facebook page. And hey, they can even go into YouTube there and uh, mm -hmm. and actually sign in mm -hmm. Mountain Fun Life. www dot yeah www dot mountainfunlife dot com, and you could be a proud winner of this nice T-shirt, and uh, and just go down and comment and say I want that T-shirt, and you just might happen to be the winner 
of this. Now, you know, we done gonna run out of time. Say bye, Mountain Man. Bye, Mountain Man. When? Bye.